Job one, making the playoffs, right? You've done that. <sighs> yeah, yeah, thankfully. Um, it's been a long season, um, a tough grind. And, you know, I'm just proud of our guys for, for sticking with it. You know, we could have folded up um, a couple losses in a row there, and it um, feels like we're just starting to play our best ball. How did it feel just in that first half? It felt like you guys were able to get it clicking on offense, and defensively it was just a wall. I mean, just how did it feel when you're going into offense, even if you aren't scoring, just it's bouncing right back to the offense gun? Yeah. Um, Weird, because like it was one of those games where you almost aren't really looking at the clock, or the score clock, and uh, you didn't really realize how much we were up by, and like so a couple of times you're kind of like, oh, what are we doing? Like get, and then you're like, oh, all right, let's just keep doing what we're doing. Like it's really a simple game, and um, I th thought you know the ball was moving pretty hot um, tonight, which it's tough to play against when when the ball is flying around. So um, and also it's a lot of fun for us as well. So it was good stuff. Listen, we're we're a, a a pretty veteran team. Guys have been through a lot. Um, guys on different teams, you know. We've we've pretty much done everything that has <laughs> been happening. We've been through a lot, especially our core. Um, so you know, it was just really focusing on the little details of the games, which you know, obviously everyone wants to win every game, right? But if you focus on winning, at the end of the day, like you kind of get lost in what really needs to be done to win games. Those loose balls, cutting off reverse transition, um, hard D, not taking dumb penalties, um, especially on offense. Like those little like microcosms is what's going to eventually win. And I think we start focusing on that a little bit more. We're talking about the core and like, this offensive group, the six of you were really just kind of going out there every night and going in as, as the forwards and then you have We're incredibly close, you know. Um, we're we've been, you know, we've all lived in the same house together. Um, you know, we've we've known each other for you know four, five, six years plus, and uh, been playing with each other, you know, in two different leagues for uh, you know four or five years, right? So um, we all we all care about each other. And we all you know want each other to succeed and. Um, you know, when you have a group like that that's also so talented, you know, it, it makes things a lot easier um, and, again, a lot more fun to play. How special was it to get your 50th goal as an individual? Obviously, you don't win the team, but personally for 50 goals. Yeah, I mean, um, you know, I'd, it's it's one of those things where um, I've been extremely lucky with, with the group that I've been playing with this year. Um, and, you know, Dane is... In, in my opinion, the best player in the world, and he, you know, takes so much attention and is such a great distributor that I kind of just get to, you know, sit sit on the on the wing and and uh, people kind of forget about me sometimes. So um, it's nice. I'm definitely benefiting off you know the guys around us and um, also you know guys on the left side, especially doing all the dirty work. Um, Klooch, B Rob, um, Mickey. Um, Guys are always just just really working hard for me, and a lot of times I get to be on the the good side of the ball. So um, yeah, super super appreciative of my teammates and uh, and this team. And to see a lot of signs, especially tonight, of the way the defense seems to be coming together, I thought it was maybe the best team game we played over sixty minutes at that end. Yeah, no, it's huge. Um, you know, I think uh, bringing a guy like Paulie in really really helps kind of calm our defense down. Um, a guy that's again, you know, what, 17, 18 years in the league. Um, it's uh, it really speaks volumes to the difference that that really that that made for us. Um, you know, Vino obviously feels more comfortable with him. He's um, a longtime friend and, and played with him for a long time. And um, you know, that calming presence goes a long way in a defense. So, um, not to mention, you know, our the rest of our leaders back there are doing a, a great job of stepping up and, you know, starting to, to really understand what we're trying to do. And um, the way we're playing D is, you know, it's championship ball. So, um, yeah, really, really proud of that group. And not to mention when he got a guy like Vino playing the way he is, it's, uh, it's special. John said he enjoyed 
enjoy playing a game that didn't go down to the last three minutes. You've had a lot of those this year. Can that that fact just give everybody a little <coughs> exhale and a little confidence going into the, the end of the season of the playoffs? Yeah, uh, to be honest, I kind of like those games. <laughs> um, you know, it's, it's a little bit more fun. Um, you know, it uh, brings out your competitive side a little bit more, especially in, in the fourth. It's I feel like when, when especially our group plays our best ball, but um, yeah, you know, at, at the end of the day, when we play a full 60 like that, and we can just kind of run the clock out on offense and you know give our defense great five on five looks. You know, it's a it's a cool thing to have. It's kind of a more relaxed feel. It's a weird kind of feel to a game. Like I feel like I could probably go play a couple more, but. Um, <laughs> But yeah, no, super, super good for us going forward and, you know, starting to climb this mountain a little bit. That chase goal at the end, when you were playing it behind your back, what's going on? Uh, I just saw him cutting and uh, I just wanted to put it out in front of him and, and give him a chance at it. And he did something crazy with the ball. And uh, <laughs> yeah, he's um, obviously extremely talented, extremely athletic and um, extremely creative as, as I think we've all seen. Um, so, you know, anytime you get a chance just to give a guy a chance to make a play, you just let those guys do it and um, he's going to do something crazy with it. Josh, how good is this depth on, the, on this team? It's incredible. You know, you look at um, any one of our of our starting seven guys, they could, they could go and be a number one guy on a lot of other teams. Um, so when you have that kind of talent, like I said before, when you have that kind of talent that really just buys in and is playing unselfish and is willing to do the dirty work for each other, it's uh, it's special. It's uh, it's it's a cool thing to be a part of, and um, you know you end up getting tap ins because you know defenses are spinning. So it's uh, it's really cool.